Hi everyone, Tom Greaves here from Dot Product. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can compare a CAD model with a point cloud that we've captured of the same piece of equipment. And uh, we can analyze the differences between the point cloud and the, and the CAD. And uh, the idea here is to capture and trap these the discrepancies between the physical world and uh, it, its digital twin. So I've got a, an AutoCAD session open here with a piece of equipment. And uh, the very first step in our work process is to export this CAD file as a, as a simple mesh. And we're going to bring that into our .3D application uh, for the next step. So the first step is, is to export it. And I'm, for this, I'm using a, an add-in tool um, from Prototech. And we're going to export this file. And so here it is. We're going to make sure, yes, we're going to export this as brominator underscore millimeter dot obj, just to indicate that the dimensions are in millimeters. So we go save. And now that file's been created. Next, we're going to navigate to uh, the point cloud that we've captured. And that's in our dot three data directory. And here it is. So one of the things we can see right away is that the coordinate system of the point cloud, which was set by the user, is, is quite different than the coordinate system for the CAD model. If we go back to the CAD model and look at this, um, we've got uh, Z running this direction. It's uh, perpendicular to the direction that we have in the that we have for the point cloud, where where Z's coming up out of the equipment uh, in the in the CAD model. Z's uh, parallel to the to the base, so um, they're clearly not in the same coordinate system at all. And what we're going to do, the first step is to is to bring this point cloud uh, into the same coordinate system as the CAD. So we activate the Design Compare tab. And we're going to open that file that I just created. I'll navigate to it. Here we go. And that's the OBJ file I just created in the previous step. And here it is in this window beside. And uh, again, it's fairly obvious they're not in the same coordinate system. And so the, the challenge next is to how do we align these two data sets, get them in the same coordinate system. So we have three alignment tools that we can bring to bear on this. The one I'm going to use is the two cylinder alignment method. We've got two cylindrical elements in, in the CAD and also in the point cloud. And these cylindrical elements are not collinear. So we've got, uh, we can exploit that to, to register the point clouds. So the first step in that method is to pick a cylindrical element, this tank, in the point cloud. And we see that red blob around it. Uh, what that indicates is that the software has assigned a centerline, calculator centerline for that piece of equipment. And we're going to pick the corresponding element in the CAD, just a long press, and then hit Next. And then we're going to do um, pick the second cylindrical element, which is this. And that corresponds to this element in the CAD. And we go next. And the computer has a, a think, and it's aligned these point clouds. And we can see that by moving the blend button. If we move it all the way to the right, we see the CAD. All the way to the left, we see just the point cloud. And in between, we get this rendered uh, rendering where we can see both of them. So there are a couple of things to observe uh, right off the bat. Uh, first of all, uh, this gauge has been shifted uh, a little bit to the right in the point cloud. So the, the CAD has uh, got the position of that not quite right. Um, this hose, which exists in the point cloud, is, is not in the CAD. We can see that there. So there's stuff in the field, in the, in the, in the real world, that's not in the, in the, in the design world. And um, we can actually do a computation of this. Uh, with our deviation map tool. And the way to interpret this, um, everything that's, uh, you know, blue is essentially, you know, a, a good match. Um, but we can see some elements that are red. 
Now, we don't have the floor, which we captured with a scanner. We don't have that in the CAD model, so that's that's red. Um, uh, this valve is clearly in the wrong place, and, and then we can also see that, uh, you know, there's some uh, other elements like the hose that are, it's, uh, it's red, and it's in the point cloud, but not in the CAD model. So we have these differences. So what, we, what we're going to do next is bring this point cloud back into the CAD file, we're gonna, and now that we've got it in the right coordinate system. So the way we do that is we go File, uh, Export, and we're going to export that as a recap file. That's the format that Autodesk products can recognize. And we go OK. And we just have to make sure that we specify that the coordinate system is the design coordinate system. That's the one that we just registered to. So we go Export. Now we're done with the uh, export. We'll go back to AutoCAD. Next, what we're going to do is bring that point cloud that I just exported um, in recap format. We're going to attach that to this CAD. So before I do that, I'm going to set up a layer to bring that point cloud in. I want the point cloud to go be on its own layer. So we'll create a new layer here, and I'm going to call that point cloud. And we'll make that the active layer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach that point cloud. There it is. Open. And we're just going to go with all the defaults here. The, the, the really key thing is to make sure that the origins of each of these data sets, uh, you know, is, is, remains at 0, 0, 0 for each. Um, so if you may need to deselect the specify on screen uh, option. And there we have it. These point clouds are aligned. And uh, if we if we look at the layer tool, or we can uh, turn off the point cloud. I'm going to make the CAD layer active, and I'll just switch off the point cloud. We can see, and I switch it back on, so that they're clearly in the in the correct coordinate system. And uh, here we have some options. If we were making modifications to this uh, equipment and uh, we wanted to know the real world constraints, for example, uh, if we wanted to run some cabling near this hose, we would know that uh, that hose is going to interfere so we can do clash detection, interference detection, uh, either visual. So that's it. Um, I've, I've done the full uh, round trip here. We've registered the point cloud to the CAD model, and then we brought the CAD model and the point cloud together in the in the CAD tool.